All right, people, welcome back. More Daily Duel. So, yeah, you're reading the title, right? Yep, mom is hospitalized, you know. My mom, who is a kind of behind the scenes, great addition to the channel, just because she's so hilarious. She's, she's one crazy woman, I love her. But yeah, she is currently hospitalized, so she's kind of sick. I wouldn't say too sick, but she's, she is very sick. Anyway, we are once again using uh, this deck of Magic Specters, and Stanzi went ahead and sent me a deck uh, that, uh, uh, utilizes the Odd Eyes Magicians, cause he was like, you know what, we'll go ahead and try it out, and it may work. I didn't open up too fantastically, to tell you the truth, but, uh, so, I'm not even sure if I want what I want to do. I might just want to take the duel slow. Uh, this can't be targeted. I can go ahead and set, put you, get another Magician, then I can have Odd Eyes, the Odd Eyes will give me a search. I said, Target one of the cards and destroy it. And if you do, add one odd eyes card. But I already got my fusion, so I don't even know what I'm doing. You know, I don't even know what I'm doing. I mean, my opponent's probably just gonna go ahead and scoop it up anyway. I so said, I guess I'll go ahead and take it slow. And so even when Stick and Stanzi was like, "Oh yeah, try this version out with some um, magic specters," it, it it runs much better. This hand's bad. Like, this hand's still not good. You know, it, it takes a little bit setup, but I guess that's how magic. I mean the magicians are. I think they do take a turn of setup. So uh, I didn't open up like magic. I didn't even get any magic specters. Surprise! Just like freaking last week. No magic specter. Uh, anyway, this is just my mom is sick. She's hospitalized. Um they say her blood is really thin and um she needs a blood transfusion, so uh yeah, and if she doesn't get one pretty much she's gonna have a heart attack and that's gonna suck. That's gonna suck. My mama is not the youngest spring chicken. She is not she had me at a very late age, you know, almost to that point where she shouldn't even be having children. You know, I'm 21, and she's almost 60. Yeah, so she's only going to be my grandmother. Like, that. that's how big the gap is. And, uh, you know, she's just been really sluggish as of late, and uh, her body's been sore, and she's, you know, she's swelling up in certain places, like her ankles and shit. And she's just, she hasn't been, you know, being too well. She's been going to the doctor a lot, taking a lot of medications, you know, just like that near elderly woman she is and uh she's she's currently in the hospital uh it's been like i want to say a day house is really quiet okay okay my opponent's not even doing anything whatever i didn't open up that well anyway well let's go ahead and get another duel and i'll go into more detail you're right back all right back but yeah the house is real quiet without her you know she she's definitely the focal point of the house and without her here the house is just really really quiet Anyway, we can go ahead and activate this powerful pendulum call. So, uh, go ahead and pitch, add two magicians, and then that will go ahead and be my pendulum scales, which is just fan fucking tastic. So, like I said, my opponent's probably gonna quit since he sees this because he thinks I'm playing magicians, and you know I don't blame him. I really don't blame him. Uh, we run this guy because uh, he's uh, two because we do run level threes. We do run level threes, so I guess I'll go ahead and add me. You as my eight, and then I need a lower scale, which I guess will go ahead and be. And it's like I cannot something. Oh, I guess that's another card. Yeah, I guess I'll go ahead and add to you. Because uh, there's a nice the the, the the magicians work because they're they're my scales. So that means I don't have to use magic scepters as my scales, which of course, as you can cl clearly see, I only opened up with fox. So. But hey, you know what? At least I opened up with something, right? At least I opened up with something. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, you just say when this card is normal summon. So I might want to go ahead and normal summon you, and then pendulum summon the fox, which is also still fun. Oh yeah, and then I can go ahead and pendulum summon the monster. Yeah, go ahead and give me odd eyes. I can just pendulum summon odd eyes. Yeah, that works. That works. Still got my uh, odd eyes fusion just in case. Chase the fan, so we'll go ahead and Pendulum Shulkin. So I guess this is the closest that you guys are going to see me using uh, the Magicians here on Daily Duels. It said this deck was supposed to be on Daily Duels and play some Infernoids tag on uh, on Wednesday, but I I decided that I didn't want that. I decided, you know what, forget it. I'd rather go ahead and uh, uh, Play Infernoids. I, I I straight up just said, you know what, I don't want to play this deck. And that was actually, I, I sat there and I quoted for at least 10 minutes and I was like, forget it, I don't want to do this. 
Anyway, like I said, my mom was the focal point of this house, you know. Me and Melvin, we're close, but we're not close, you know. Uh, definitely, he's, he's like a father for you, and he's like a dad, and of course, dads aren't that close. Once again, my opponent just scoops it up. I mean, I don't blame him. I'm so freaking set up. As soon as you play something, a tribute, this goes back to extra deck, pens and someone in a bag, get another search, pens and someone in a bag, get another search. Like I said, right now, we were just testing the deck straight up. I had Stomp to give it to me. He's like, here you go. Here's a version of the deck. Play it, try it out. So, I haven't made any alterations myself. But, uh, yeah. It, it, right now, it just feels a little bit too Odd Eyes magician -y. Like, it literally feels like I'm running Odd Eyes Magicians with Magic Scepters thrown in. That's, that's what it feels like instead of a Magic Scepter deck with the Magicians as an Indian. It's just, there's too much, you know. I'm running Terraforming for the Field Spell. I'm running Pendulum Call. I'm running Odd Eyes Fusion. I'm running multiple Magicians. And I'm only running a couple Magic Scepters. It feels like I'm running Odd Eyes. I'm running Pendulum Magicians featuring Magic Specters, not Magic Specters featuring an Odd Eyes Magician, I mean, a um, Pendulum Magician engine to help with my Pendulum Summon, but hey, we'll keep trying it, so. Of course, we're gonna get another duel, and hopefully my opponent actually tries to duel me, unless we're just, really just gonna sit here at this episode doing the duels of me playing by myself and then quitting, so. Anyway, be right back. Anyway, uh, so literally the house is literally just me and Melvin, and me and Melvin really don't talk that often. No, surprise, but we really don't. We really, I'm really kind of quiet, and you know, so is he. We kind of just keep to ourselves. So if you have another magician, destroy this card and choose one magician. Okay, so I pretty much just play you, play you. All right, I see the inside magician. It helps with me the consistency of setting up my scales. So then we'll go ahead and get you, and then you. Go ahead and switch out for you. This is a level three, so I want to go ahead and pendulum summon a lower scale, of course. Then we'll go ahead and pendulum shulkan. Summon you guys back. Like I said some things are nice, some things are just still too much. Why do I summon you in attack mode? Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna switch you out anyway. I didn't know about to, I'm about to switch you out anyway. Switch you out for definitely Fox. Wait, no. Raccoon. <laughs> I was like, oh yeah, definitely Fox. Like, wait, no. Raccoon. Go ahead and search me for a Fox. I see it. I see it. It's not it's not it's not terrible right now. We're not doing we're not doing terrible. And cat, you will go ahead and search me for I already have raccoon. I already have a cat. Oh, uh, he doesn't really run a lot of uh, other magic scepters. I don't know. I guess another fox. I can only get the effect once per turn, so there's no point in having multiples. But actually, you know what? Just in case, I should have went ahead and searched for something to reset up my scales. My bad. Just in case he wrecks them. Yeah, I gotta learn the deck sooner or later. Like I said, I, I, the magicians are working. I see the engine. It's just it's a little bit too magician you know? Like, I'll probably cut down on the field spell and cut down on a couple of cards. Wow. I think this only stops Inherent Summon, so... At least the Fire Kings. Whatever, my magic centers can't be destroyed by card effects anyway, but they definitely can be destroyed by you being attacked, so... Mmm, that's her. Mm. Grunix isn't terrible against me, though, but it's not good either. Alright, he's just gonna go ahead and get rid of my counter trap, which is fine, and then probably gonna go ahead and summon, I mean, destroy the Greenix in his hand, right? Destroy one monster in your hand or his control, and then add one Fire King monster. It's just like, wow. <laughs> like, forget the reliance on Yaksha. Too bad it's an OCG exclusive card, right? Anyway, uh. And, and it's weird. My mom calls. And I'm busy, right? I'm busy or I'm taking a nap or something. I call her, she doesn't answer the phone, like her straight up doesn't answer, she's calling me from weird numbers, she's like, oh, well tell Melvin that he, that I can't call him because his phone's like long distance number, and it's like, but I can't call you, so, I don't know, I don't know, as of right now, I haven't visited her, but, you know, Melvin's like, you know, we're probably gonna go visit her, so, that's good, hopefully she'll, she's only gonna be there for a couple of days, so, uh, thank you guys for all the get well wishes, you know, I know how much you guys love my mom, uh, for those of you who've been on my channel for a while, my mom is hilarious, you know, she, she's definitely a, a fun mom, and, well, she drives me crazy, I mean, who's mom, what mom doesn't drive you crazy, right, of course you guys love your mom, but she drives you crazy, and, you know, I may not be a teenager anymore, I'm a grown man, but, you know, 
I still have teenage tendencies and, you know, definitely mom driving me up the wall is one of them, but, you know, I love her and she's awesome and, yeah, yeah. Yeah, anyway, I'm just gonna go ahead and, uh, I feel like I'm missing a Mad Receptor card. I'm missing Crow. Stanzi didn't put Crow in here? Like, no, I didn't even see Crow. I saw a cat. Saw a raccoon. When I when I searched for cat during the interface, I didn't see Crow. I, I like literally, I have not looked at the deck. I literally took the deck and slapped it in here. So I'm not even sure. I'm not even sure if my opponent is still here. It sure doesn't feel like it. So it feels like it's frozen. I think he quit because what's to say? Are you still there? Like your bar is not filling up. It just feels like it's frozen. But no surprise that Depro. <laughs> No surprise that uh, Dev Pro's not working, so whatever. I guess I'll go ahead and get another, 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 another duel. Be right back. Alright. Back. So, she'll be gone for a couple of days. Yeah. I'm not sure if she's going to jump right back into it, because I think she's supposed to go to work on Friday, but, you know, I'm not even sure she, what she's going to do when it comes to that. So, once again, I mean, definitely, I'm liking the Magicians. I'm not... I mean, of course we run the terraforming because, you know, Magic Specters like to run their, their, their field spell. Oh, well, I mean, if he has Necro Valley, then he could play his Counter Trap. Now he could play his Counter Trap. Alright, so. This duel should be fun. <laughs> Alright, so. I'm not right now. <laughs> I use Z Bell Zex on, uh. Not here. Alright, well, I mean. I'll go ahead and set up my scales. So what do you do? I can dis it's once per turn if I have a mesh edition card and other pencil. I could discard a pendulum monster and target one spell trap card and film destroy. Okay. So I'll play you. Oh yeah, he definitely has his counter trap. If you want to play that, because I'm gonna pitch and destroy it anyway, so we're, it's gonna be the same result. Okay, that's fine. That's totally fine. <laughs> Book this shit, so OP quit. Like, okay. Okay. And sorry, is this literally gonna how it's gonna turn into? I hope not, because I really don't want to take off this deck off of Daily Duels just because no one will duel me. Ah, whatever. Be right back. Again. Alright. Death Pro being DARPA. It's like, oh, 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 our server's down. We're done. <laughs> like, okay. Damn, like, look at this. I'm running freaking fusion construction. I'm, I'm like, God, I am just running so many fucking odd ice cards. It's not even funny. Like, too many, too many, too many, too many, way too many, way too fucking many people. So, we're gonna, we're, I'm gonna clean this deck up because it's just too much. It's literally odd eyes magicians featuring magic sectors and not magic sectors with an odd eyes magician engine. Like I said, I, I like the pendulum call, I like the magicians, I like the insight magicians. Anything that will allow me to go ahead and get my scale set up, I don't mind. But, like, this, running it for, like, odd eyes, like, it's not even necessary. Not even necessary. Why the fuck did I summon you in attack mode? Because I always do, because I'm an idiot. I keep on forgetting your damn stats. Always, always forgetting your damn stats. I'm gonna be taking some damage unless I can go ahead and tribute to block, but yeah, I'm gonna be taking some damage. But like sit like this, like no thank you. I, I don't need odd eyes. The magicians, they're cool. The odd eyes, too much. You know, the odd eyes fusion, the odd eyes itself, this card, it's too much, it's too much. Way too much. Uh, I don't know which one I want. I'm gonna get Tornado because in case he doesn't special summon and he just wants to tackle me, I can just go ahead and get him anyway. So instead of playing this, I'm actually just gonna go ahead and set it and make him think, you know, that it's another card. Well, nearly it's not. So Kitty Cat will go ahead and search me for a raccoon. But I can't believe I'm not running Crow. I'm not sure if he's not running any of the Magic Scepter spell cards or anything, but that's 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 weird. Yeah. What the fuck is this? Oh, Gradles. It's Gradles. Okay. So, new deck versus new deck. Gradles versus Mandeceptors. Mm, okay. The problem is, is that I cannot be targeted. So, your Gradle effects are nice and all. 
This card in your roster is under destroyed by a battle by opponent's monster effect. Instead of the graveyard, you can target one face up monster your opponent controls, equip it, and then take control of it. Which is nice and all. It's just a matter of fact that get rid of you because I can pendulum summon you back and get another search. It's just you can't target me, so you can't even take my magic scepters. And, you know, people are like, oh, magic scepters don't have any back rate destruction. But, I mean, really, do they, do they really need it? That's the thing. Do they really need it? Not really. Not really. I guess I'll go ahead and turn you to defense mode now and go ahead and pendulum shulken you two. You know, when your, when your freaking magic scepter can't be targeted or destroyed by card effects, I mean, really, what are you afraid of when it comes to back row? Being targeted or destroyed by card effects? You know? There's not a lot of cards that don't do either one when it comes to back row, so. Like, yeah, see? That was a perfect example. Where I gave no fucks, even if you had the powerful Ghost Ogre Snow Rabbit, I can't be targeted, so. And that's why I'm put, quit. <laughs> so, I think, I'm, uh, like I said, I'm just not, I'm not seeing it. Maybe he's not running spell cards, I don't know. I don't know, I haven't really talked to him about the deck, but like I said, I'll tweak it. I just wanted to go ahead and play his version of it in this video. Anyway. Still, just a lot of quitting. I mean, like I said, the Magician's are fine. You know, the Pendulum Call is putting that work. I have no complaints with the Pendulum Call. None at all. I will gladly go ahead and pitch, get two Magicians to go ahead and set up my scales, and then I can just Pendulum Summon all my Magic Scepters all I want. Like that. Insight for the consistency of my Magician cards? Like that. That's fine. It's the Odd Eyes that's the problem. It's just too much. It's just too much. We're doing too much right now. We're doing too much. So, like I said, I'll tweak it and come back next Friday with a different version, tweaked version of it. But for right now, we're just going to keep on using a Stanzi's version. But, yeah. Just wanted to go ahead and tell you guys what's up about my mom. So, uh, I still feel like we're still not long enough. Because, literally, I think this is like a 6 or 7 duel, but my opponents keep quitting because this deck is just too good. So, they're back. Alright. So, let's see. Let's see how long it takes for my opponent to go ahead and quit here. I, I was hosting the duels, but now I, I don't even host the duels anymore. I, I am literally just uh, dueling now. Alright, so terraforming seems like it's still good just because I can go ahead and grab my field. So he runs one arc, and alright, well, arc is definitely out because I'm taking the odd eyes out completely, so that's not even necessary. So uh, you're out. So, But the terraforming is still good because I insert my magic scepter spilled spell, which is definitely a card that I want. Definitely. So I'm going to go ahead and play. Once again, Pendulum Call, great card, pitch, get me my two magicians, i.e. being you. And it, it seems like there's too many magicians, too. You and you. Yeah. Like I said, there's too many magicians as well. Like, like there's that one magician that goes well with odd eyes, like, I'm not, I'm not going to run you. It's, you know, there's a lot of tweaking and twerking that I'm going to, of course, do with this deck. I'm going to try it in defense mode because it's a cat. Even though I only get his cat effect once per turn, so I right, said so we'll go ahead and switch that up. Then we'll go ahead and play my field spell. Activate it. Switch a cat for a fox. Be sly like a fox. And fox. Go ahead and get me tornado, not tempest. Just in case he normal something, especially since he has no like, extra deck, I'd rather go ahead and just tornado it up and banish. Because it seems like I'm about to go against something sacky, but I guess we'll, you know, only time will tell. We'll go ahead and get Raccoon. So the deck just seems so anti-climactic. It seems too much magician, not enough mad deceptors. Like all I got is fox, cat, and raccoon. I don't even have crow. I don't have unicorn. It just seems slow, you know. Especially since I'm running scales that are wide enough to actually, you know, play. Uh, unicorn and actually pendulum summon it. It seems like I'd get more bang out of my buck if I actually played, you know, shit like that. Yeah. All right, we're going to get something sacky. Just like I thought. It's totally fine. Totally fine. So now the question is, can I beat him before you know it gets too too much? Yeah. It's clearly his card's going to be blocking. Like with you know shit like that with threatening roar and shit like that. So question is, can I break through them walls? Especially you know I can't be targeted short by card effects, but you can still just do broad wipes of just okay, or you can just quit. <sighs> we are back. <laughs> like I said I think the magic factors are going to do really well with uh, with the magicians. Like I said them setting up my scale seems like they're putting in work. But then I put up with too much magicians and it doesn't do anything. Like 
without without the the magic entrance, I just really don't have much bite with this deck. It, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but I just feel like I'm not really doing much now, am I? Nah, this is too much. This is too much magician. I don't like Sky Arc. I don't like the Odd Eyes. And there's too much magicians. You know, I, I just don't need that many. You know, I'll probably run you. Probably like maybe one or two of you. You, I'll run you. Because you two help me with the consistency summon up my skill. Why do I care about, you know, my normal summon? Especially this guy. Why do I care about my normal summon when I can just Tundrum summon? So, you will definitely be in. You're on my, my upper scale, and of course, if I'm running, if I'm running too much magicians like Insight, I can literally just pitch him and destroy some backward, which is something that uh, Magic Scepters do not have. This backward destruction. You help with me the consistency of setting up my scale. You, I don't even know what the fuck you're doing. Like you're, you're not even right. Like I'd rather because I have running level threes and you're, you're scale three, so I don't even know why you're fucking in here. Like I'm just not liking this. I'm not liking this at all. I am not liking. There's too much magician. Too much magician. Too much odd eyes. Not enough anything else, so definitely gonna be time to twerk it because God, just so much, so much of magicians. Like where, 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 where am I going with this? I don't even know where I'm going with this. Like that's the crazy thing. I guess I'll go in. And especially since I'm not even really sure how to play magicians correctly, I, mean, I, I get that they're a strong deck, but when I don't open up that well, it's just like, what am I doing? What am I doing? Hmm? What am I doing? So I'll go ahead and get an Odd Eyes Fusion, because yeah, there's Odd Eyes Fusion in here too, just so damn clogged. It's everything. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know. Oh yeah, because I went plus with him, so yeah, I can be after time. Anyway, so thank you guys for, you know, wishing my mom good wellness. Hopefully she'll be back soon to drive me crazy. <laughs> I miss my, I miss her already. See? Look what you, see look, you're not, I can't even, I can't even fucking summon. I can't even summon you. I can't even summon Cat, because it's fucking level 3 and you're scale 3. I don't like you. There's no point in me running you at all. Yeah. You need to get rid of this field spell. Always get rid of this field spell as soon as possible. <sighs> oh, still not liking it. Oh, just discard one tender the monster. Going to say a lot of back row here, so I guess we should start trying to at least attempt trying to clear it out. Air Force. Interesting. So, can't even summon my damn cat. I got a normal summon it. Sucks. Pendulum Shulkin. It's on the morning. Bottomless. Same thing. Same thing. So I'll just normal summon my cat and get it to search effect during the end phase. Cat's not bad. Cat's not bad. I I appreciate it. It's just it's just a weak and slow. But it's cat's not bad. Just so much fucking odd eyes shit in here. It's not even funny. I really feel like I'm playing odd eyes magician with magic scepters tagged in, and not you know magic scepters with odd eyes as the engine. So thanks for the deck Stonesy, but. Too much magicians, way too much magicians. So we'll go ahead and torque it up and come back next week. Said so thanks for the bottomless, awesome. Ah, uh, what do you want, phone? <laughs> oh, someone hit that subscribe button. Hey, you can't you can't complain about that. Never complain about someone hitting that subscribe button. Thank you guys for all the support. I love you guys all. You all support me by hitting that subscribe button. So, thank you. Look at this. Look at this. Fuck you. God. I can't even pendulum summon because fucking you. Like, look how many threes and this guy. Fuck you. You don't do anything in Magic Heavens. Run the level two guy. Holy shit. 
I'll have time. I can just go ahead and normal summon. And then I have to search for Fox and then Pemptum summon Fox. At least I can summon Fox. Damn, no crow. I'm not even I'm not even sure if he's any running any United Set for spell cards. And they have a quick spell, which is just as good as the freaking trap, so I don't even know why you're not even running it. Like whatever. I don't need another one of you. Get rid of that. I guess I'll go ahead and get rid of ki uh, you, which isn't really doing anything. I guess I'll go ahead and if I'm, if I'm running the odd eyes, I might as well play the odd eyes, right? Let's head punch them. Punch them mechanic is so good. It's so good. Like, what were they thinking when they made the fucking pendulum mechanic? There we go. So, at least I know what I want to fix with this deck, but there's too much Odd Eyes. The Magician's still too much, the Odd Eyes too much, like, taking all the Odd Eyes out. Don't need you, don't need you, don't need you, like, no, no. Anyway, so, thank you guys for wishing my mom good health, and thank you guys for all the support. You guys know that I can talk to you guys about anything, and you guys are the best. I wouldn't be anywhere in this YouTube thing without all your guys' support. So, thanks for that. Anyway, good news is League is tomorrow, people. Tomorrow, uh, at this time, the you know first video goes up at 12 p.m. Pacific time. The second video goes up at 2 p.m. Pacific time, both Saturday and Sunday. So four matches per week, all the way up until the playoffs. And uh, yeah, so uh, you guys are excited for it. You guys have been hyping for it. You guys, majority of you guys, subscribe. Hit that subscribe button on my channel for it. But of course, I hope that you guys are also enjoying the other content as well. Sorry if you're new to the channel and I had to go ahead and uh, open up a can of sad, depressing... Your poor mom. You guys don't know my mom, but for those of you who know my mom, you know she's hilarious, and you know I'll be sure that when she's back in good health, that uh, she'll go ahead and uh, speak on the YouTubes. And uh, you know, thank you guys for wishing her good health. But uh, uh, sorry to open up like this, but you guys should know when you hit that subscribe button, that's what you get. You guys get the duels, and you get all my personal life. I don't hide shit from you guys. So uh, uh, right now, not much is happening in my life. You know. I'm a college student, but college, I'm still on break right now. Uh, college starts up at the end of August, and they're both online classes. Actually, one class is until the mid-semester. Like, I have two classes, but one's at the beginning of the semester, and one's in the, not until mid, and they're both online classes, so not much to talk about there. Not, not, not much has been happening in my life outside of YouTube, so there you go. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and call it episode of Daily Duel. So thank you, Stanzi, for convincing me to run the Magicians. They're good. They help, but... It's too much. So, I'm going to twerk it up. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed. Uh, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. Thank you for supporting my mom. Hope you guys enjoyed the league. And, of course, no daily duels on the weekend. So, I will be back Monday with Telenites. Alright, people. Thanks for watching.